Camp Bello once again took place at the Ashland Fire Station. The camp allows young women between the ages of 14 and 19 to get a taste of what it's like to work in the fire department. The camp can be physical, testing the abilities of the young ladies to perform the duties of a firefighter or EMS worker. The camp lasts five days and gave the participants numerous different experiences. That's good. Uh, did you enjoy Camp Bellow? Yeah, it was super fun. What was your favorite activity? We had a police officer come and the military woman. It was awesome. I loved hearing both of their stories. Would you do the camp again? Of course. And um, who are some of your favorite instructors? I liked Sarah and Lynn and Bria. She wasn't here today. And Brittany, she was awesome. Right. My favorite. And Lori. They're all great. All right, terrific. And you, how'd you like doing the obstacle course? They were tough, but they were fun. My team won, which is always great. All right, are you thinking about a career in law enforcement or military or something like that? Yeah, thinking about a military career. On the final day of the camp, the ladies were put through a team building obstacle course to see how fast they can get through the various exercises. The camp also featured guest speakers. I have been doing this in the military for 14 years now. I have deployed twice and I'm on my third deployment in January. When I am not in this uniform, I am in law enforcement. I'm a police officer out of Connecticut. I serve in the Rhode Island National Guard, but I live in Boston. So I cover three territories. Somebody says, no, you can't do this, or I don't want a female here. Okay, cool. Well, your mom, your mom put me on this earth and I gotta tolerate you while I'm here and you're gonna tolerate me. So get along or get along, okay? That's the best advice I could ever tell anybody. Also on the final day, the ladies got to sit back with their families and reminisce on some of the great memories during their five days and they received the participation certificates.
the biggest thing is we try to instill confidence in the young ladies. Uh, I try to show them that um, there's, there's nothing that they can't do as a profession. Uh, I, I'm surrounded by professional women in the fire service, and they see that they're they're capable what they're capable of doing. But I also bring in uh, women in professions, other professions. Uh, we have uh, Stacy Kaiser, Officer Kaiser, and Officer. Anderson that came in this year from our own police department uh, and they were able to spend a couple of hours and, and talk to the, the young ladies about what, it like, what it's like to be a police officer. Mm -hmm. uh, this year we were lucky enough to have uh, a corporal from the Army come in and she talked to the girls about what it's like to be in the Army Reserves as a female. And uh, th so that's, that's a big part of it, is basically exposing these young women to professional women, women of all different genres, just so they can see that uh, no matter what it is they want to do, they can do it.